Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Welcome everybody. So at, at this point we usually offer obeisances and pronouns on the floor, but because we don't have that space, it's okay for us to just fold our palms. Om Vishnu Pad Paramahamsa Pariyam Jikacharya Stotra Stotra Shishi Maja's Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Ki. Om Vishnu Pad Paramahamsa Pariyam Jikacharya Stotra Stotra Shishi Maja's Divine Grace Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasvati Goswami Maharaj Ki. Ananta Koti Vaishnava Vrinda Ki. Namacharya Shila Haridas Thakur Ki. Prem Siga Ho Sri Krishna Chaitanya all glories to the assembled devotees, Hare Krishna. All glories to the assembled devotees, Hare Krishna. All glories to Sri Sri Guru and Sri Gauranga. All glories to Shiva. Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Krishna. Namaste Sarasvati Devi Gauravani Prasadini. Nir Vishesha Sunyavadi Prasadini. So, is anybody, well, first of all, I'll introduce myself. My name is Krishna Dulal Das. And I'd like to welcome you to our temple here in Iskon, Ottawa. This is the residence of our beloved Sri Sri Gauranitai Ki. Who are none other than Lord Krishna and Lord Balaram together. And uh, it's a glorious occasion. Today is Sri Krishna Janmashmi, the birthday of Lord Krishna. Uh, maybe I'll start off by asking, just for fun. Yes, okay. Dina Garanga, Dina, Dina Garanga Prabhu is saying he can't see. So if some of the persons maybe in the front, if you're able to crouch down a little bit or come closer, you can't sit down if, you're, if you have enough space to do so. There are some questions as well. You know? Try your best. Yeah, try your best. Stay a while, you know? Right? It's a party. It's going until uh, 15, right? Okay, okay. So. And, and you can come close as, as far as you can, actually. Okay. Come on. Okay. Come on. We're going to do that a little bit later, Mataji. We're going to do the study. Thank you. Thank you so much. Excuse me. So, can I ask, is anybody here for the first time to, to this Kona to raise your hand if you're here for the first time? You're welcome, welcome. That's great. You know what? We get together here every week on a Sunday, and you are most welcome to come and join us anytime. And we're so pleased that uh, you came out and uh, are gracing us with your association today. And uh, so thank you, thank you all so much. I'd also like to acknowledge we have some guests that are joining us online here. Uh, can we see the guest online? I'm gonna try. Oh, it says we're connected. Did we disconnect? Are we connected online? Is, does anybody know Mother uh, Ikrani Janaki? <laughs> so the bodies are still on the mic. Okay. Mother Leela Mohini, welcome. Hare Krishna. Who else? Mother Narayana Priya, welcome. Welcome. Hare Krishna. Jay Prabhu Hare Krishna, welcome. And welcome. Okay, so we're going to just speak a little bit. We'll speak for just a few minutes on this occasion, right, Krishna Jamashpi. And, uh, and as I was uh, saying a little bit earlier, for those of you who came earlier, the plan for the evening is such that we're going to have some discussion for a few minutes, and then we'll have a little game. We'll see if we can fit that in there. We have a little Krishna conscious game, a game on Krishna's pastimes. It's kind of it's charades. You guys know charades? You ever heard of that? Yeah. So it's like this. Mother Lakshmi Moni is going to facilitate that for us. And then after that, uh, we're going to have a little bit of kirtan, and then we'll have Abhishek. So Abhishek is the bathing of Lord Krishna, 
the different paraphernalia, like yogurt, right, sweet stuff. And, uh, and then after that, we'll have offering of flowers, uh, some more kirtan. Uh, we'll have some katak dance as well for a few minutes. Um, if the katak dancer can dance <laughs> in a two by two space, we'll see. And then uh, after that, we're going to have a midnight kirtan and, uh, and prashadam will be served. So we'll have some uh, wonderful vegetarian food stuff that has been offered to the Lord that will be served. However, just for those of you who cannot stay the entire time or have to leave and maybe come back, there is also prashadam plates that are for takeout that are just in the parking lot right next to us right over here. Devotees have been cooking uh, early and so that for those of you who are not fasting uh, per se, you're welcome to come and take some prashadam if you need to take a break. We're also going to try to connect the Zoom so we can have a picture on what's happening in the temple. So if you want to go outside and take some air, feel free to do so. And uh, yeah, I, I hope you enjoy your visit here. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to start off with an invocation prayer. But you can repeat after me. So I'm going to start. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. 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 So. I was going to speak just a couple of verses from the Srimad Bhagavatam. Actually, you'll see in the back, there's a, there's a whole uh, layout spread of books that are on top of that glass uh, structure there. And that's the Srimad Bhagavatam. So this is something that you know, Aris Khan devotees, you know, Vaishnava devotees, they read uh, regularly. And uh, it's basically, it gives you information for life, right? How to be able to, to navigate, you know, through uh, the day-to-day -day life, and how to become happy, essentially, and how to re rekindle our relationship with Lord Krishna. And so, actually, this is the reason why Janmashtami is here, why we have Janmashtami. Janmashtami is the birth day of Krishna, that's when Krishna was born. Uh, the reason why we have this celebration, it's not necessarily, yes, there's some s side effects that are great, we get to socially meet one another, right, and, and see our friends, and, and uh, come out because it's tradition, you know, our grandma was doing, our grandma's grandma, right? So we come out and come to the temple, which is beautiful. It's a wonderful tradition. And, uh, you know, it just becomes a habit. There's different celebrations that are happening throughout the year, right? We have, uh, you know, New Year's is a celebration, right, also. Slightly a little bit different, but it's some kind of a celebration. <laughs> and uh, so the purpose of Janmashmi specifically is for us to take advantage of absorbing our mind, tongues, and ears in Krishna, right? And Queen Kunti, she was saying that uh, this is actually why Krishna appeared. She was saying, that, so to, to inaugurate these two processes of devotional service, Shravanam and Kirtanam, right? So Shravanam means hearing, and Kirtanam means chanting. And uh, Lord Krishna appeared just so his devotees could speak about his glories, specifically. And there's a verse in the Bhagavad Gita, Janma Karma Chameti Vyam, right? This verse means, one who knows the transcendental nature of my appearance and activities does not, upon leaving the body, take his birth again in this material world, but attains my eternal abode, for Arjuna. Yes. There's another verse in the Bhagavad Gita that says, Machit Mat Gata Prana. So he says, the thoughts of my pure devotees dwell in me, Krishna is speaking, he's saying, their lives are fully devoted to my service, and they derive great satisfaction and bliss from always enlightening one another and conversing about me. Right? This is what the devotees do. So this is what it means to really celebrate. This is the essence of his appearance. And what it does is when we do it, it brings our consciousness from a material level to a transcendental platform. This is actually the Vaishnava's method for transcendence. Right? This is when you look at the most top transcendentalists within our culture, within our Vedic history, we see that this is the method that they, process, uh, they, they, that they follow specifically. There's another verse in the Bhagavatam that says, Ayur Harati Vaipum Sham. And it says, both by rising and by setting, the sun decreases the duration of life of everyone, except one who utilizes the time by discussing topics of the all-good personality of Godhead. So it's saying that, you know, this was a funny thing, right? Because, you know, when it comes to New Year's, people go and celebrate, but what are they celebrating? You know, the rising and, and uh, you know, 
going down of the sun, right? The fact that our duration of life is becoming shorter and shorter, right? Yay, we're going to... So, uh, so this, this is the passage of time. This verse discusses the passage of time a little bit. And uh, Bhagavatam says that, what is the value of a long life of inexperience of the world? Better a moment of full consciousness. People foolishly celebrate in total forgetfulness of Krishna, decreasing their life, while the sun is rising and setting. You know, real celebration takes place every day in the life of a devotee by properly using one's time remembering Krishna, right? So this is what our scriptures are saying. Uh, Bhagavatam 1, 2, 17 saying, Srinvatam Svakata Krishna. It says, Sri Krishna, the personality of Godhead, who is the Paramatma, super soul in everyone's heart, and the benefactor of the truthful devotee cleanses the desire of material enjoyment from the heart of the devotee who has developed the urge to hear his passages, which are themselves virtuous when properly heard and chanted. You know, my guru was giving this class and he was actually saying, he says, you know, what's the use of a life, you know, a hundred years, right? Because you get to live a hundred years or two hundred years, but it's devoid of Krishna, devoid of the purpose of life specifically. It said, the devotees specifically, they enable us to search for our ultimate interest, not things that cannot satisfy the souls. Time is valuable. Krishna is also saying in the Bhagavad Gita, he says, the Supreme Personality said, time I am. Have you heard that verse, right? The great destroyer of the worlds. And I have come here to destroy all people. Pretty grim, right? <laughs> With the exception of you, the Pandavas. He's speaking to Arjuna, right, and his brothers. All the soldiers here on both sides will be slain. So, Janmash means for us, it's the purpose of celebrating uh, and raising our consciousness somehow. There's another verse in the Bhagavad Gita, Paritimaya Sadhunam, right? And that's another reason, actually, it says that, uh, you know, the Lord comes, again, to, to be able to give us a reason to remember Him, right? So we can think of Him. He answers the wish of the devotees. There's a secondary purpose, which is He kills the demons, annihilates the miscreants, but that's secondary. The main purpose is that He's coming and he's trying to fulfill the hankering and yearning of the devotees. The Prabhupada was saying that in this age, Krishna has taken his birth in the Krishna consciousness movement. So it's not that Krishna has only taken birth 5,000 years ago. The Prabhupada is saying that he's taken birth in this Krishna consciousness movement, right? Because Krishna is none different than his holy name. So this Maha Mantra that we chant, we can try it together. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Very good. So, you know, Krishna is saying, the one with great faith who always abides in me, thinks of me within himself, and renders transcendental loving service to me, is the most intimately united with me in yoga, and is the highest of all. So, those are some of the reasons. And, you know, another thing also I wanted to say, it, as you can see on our right-hand side here, we have Srila Prabhupada Murti, he's sitting right here. And you know, he is known as the founder of the Krishna Conscious Movement because he brought it from, from the East, you know, he brought it here to the West, he imported it here to us. And I know that my, my spiritual master, he was talking a little bit about importing, you know, how we maybe haven't heard, you know, about something before and then somebody brought it and it, you know, opened up our eyes and it was a, a revelation. And my Guru Maharaj would say that, you know, when he was preaching in the early days in the in the in Ukraine, in the USSR, he would go there and they never seen things like bananas, right? They've never heard what a banana looks like. Or broccoli for instance. And my Guru Maharaj was saying that uh, he had a diet that he needed to eat broccoli. So one of the devotees went to one of the laboratories there and was able to steal a piece of broccoli. And he said, look, Guru Maharaj, I brought you broccoli. And he took the broccoli, and he started to cut off all the flowers, and cooked all the stems for him. And he said, here, Guru Maharaj, this is broccoli for you. <laughs> and he didn't know that it's actually the flowers that you eat, that's the broccoli that you're supposed to do. And so similarly, Prabhupada, he imported this philosophy. He reported Krishna to us. And, and for us to be able to keep Krishna present with us, the best way for us to do it is to be able to constantly, when we get together, to remember 
right, to talk about Krishna's glories. That's why all of these stories you hear, Krishna stealing butter, Krishna killing the demon, all of those things, these are reasons why he came to help us cultivate a relationship with Krishna somehow, right? And that's the essence of happiness, essentially. Right? When we hear about Krishna, when we discuss about Krishna. And above that, also chanting Hare Krishna. So we've been doing this, so I'll try not to speak too long, because I wanted to, to, you know, just let everybody kind of engage in the experience a little bit. It's a call and response thing. But before I do so, I wanted to also ask uh, um, uh, one of my mentors to share a few words with you as well. And uh, her name is Her Grace Mother Lakshmi And she's right over there. <laughs> Let's give her a round. Hey, I wanted to say something because I don't normally, you know, mention or speak so much about Mother Lakshmi Moni within our classes right around the Sunday feast. But she is a backbone of our community. She moved here about four years ago, and she's a, she's a disciple of Srila Prabhupada, and she's a devotee who basically lives every day. You know, for Krishna, you go in her house, you know, you see, she's got pictures of Krishna all the time. She's encouraging us to go at, at, attend the class in the morning, to be there to listen, to, to facilitate more programs. She's saying, Krishna Dulal, there's nothing going on in this town, you know, why, why aren't we having some programs here? So she is a real gem, right, a real gem, and I wanted to express that appreciation for her. And uh, I also wanted to... Uh, just raise that awareness if you see her, right? You can offer, you know, front arms to her. And uh, and maybe she could share a few words, some realizations yeah. about what Janmashmi is, uh, as, as it was presented by her Guru Maharaj, Prashila Prabhupada. And then after that, uh, a few minutes after that, the plan is we're, we're going to maybe do a little game. We're, we're going to see if we can get it to share. It. So, are there any good actors in here? <laughs> Drama? Yes? No? Okay, so I'll pass the microphone over.
and, uh, and looks for his devotees because they can't fit in the temple, he goes outside. <laughs> and uh, we'll see that next week. So we should take the opportunity to understand that Krishna is appearing here specifically today, that we're celebrating his appearance this day, um, to call our attention to him. Because actually he's appearing all the time, but because we're not paying attention. We don't see him, we don't hear him. He talks to us all the time, but our mind is screaming. Amazon is screaming. <laughs> Facebook is screaming. So we don't hear him, but actually he's calling us all the time. He's talking to us all the time. He's appearing all the time. So on this one day, Janmashtami day, Krishna appears and we give some attention. Um, we, we have the opportunity even here in this remote corner of the world once to help I went to visit a place where I used to live called Gainesville, Florida. And when he came, it was it's a very small airport. And he said, now I've come to this remote corner of the world so far away from the appearance place of Lord Chaitanya Krishna. And here also Ottawa is, is far away. It's funny when I talk to my friends in India, and I tell them in the winter here, it's minus 40 degrees. In Delhi, it's plus 41 degrees. <laughs> uh, here, it's minus 41 degrees. So, so we're all in this world so far away from the appearance place of Krishna. And yet, Krishna's here. I can ask you, how many of you knew about Krishna before you came to Ottawa? Raise your hand if you knew about Krishna before you came to Ottawa. How many of you actually did something about the fact that you know about Krishna? How many of you actually worshipped him, spent time at the temple, reading Bhagavad Gita? So please take opportunity here in this remote corner of the world to keep up that. You think you've escaped, but Krishna's here in Ottawa too. So you really haven't escaped. And he's giving you opportunities to render service to him, to remind others to render service to him, to find shelter in him instead of finding shelter in some other materialistic thing. And this appearance day of Krishna is there for us because he appears for us. He appears to give pleasure to his devotees and to show us that he's with us every moment of every day. So thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much very much for your time. Okay, so we were gonna start with doing maybe uh, you know our charades thing right now, but just because of the time, is it okay if we just just do Abhishek right now and maybe right after Abhishek we do the charades? Put it with your time though. So we're gonna do some Abhishek right now. Is everybody okay for that? Yeah. Yes. Okay, and we'll do some spare time. She's outside. The best way to go is through this way, actually. If I could get your shoes done. Smother than the mic, woman. Could I get a cushion from there? There's a cushion right in the middle. Yes.
give it to me.
take a brief break for a second just to explain what's going to be happening right now. So now we'll do the offering of the flowers, right? And uh, there's two, two things that uh, accompany this whole process. So one is the Achman. So when you come on up, first I'll be standing with the cup there. And uh, what we'll do... Just wash your hands. Pardon me? Sure. So we'll do the, uh, yeah. So we'll do the, the purification, right? You can wash your hands quickly, and then uh, and then you can take some flowers to offer to Father Gopal, to Krishna. And then, uh, how are we going to say? We're going to go back, kind of, we'll do like a little bit of a circle. And the wonderful Yes. Yes, please don't fall down, right? And prostrate the obeisance right in front of here, because you want to keep it going a little bit, so you can quickly, if you like, offer obeisances on that side or to the back of the temple. That's right, she said, pretend you're in Tirupati and you have only three seconds, okay? <laughs> so, so, Mother Shaita will continue with kids. Thank you. Hati Goda Palki.
So Hare Krishna, just wanted to take this opportunity to make an announcement also. Um, is there, did anybody here hear about a Ratha Yatra next week? Raise your hand if you heard about the Ratha Yatra. Oh, most of you have heard about it. Uh, can you raise your hand if you're planning on coming to Ratha Yatra? Who's planning on coming to attend? Yeah. Yeah, wonderful, fantastic. So, yeah, it's, it's going to start actually next Saturday at 11 o'clock. We're going to start right at the bottom of Templeton Street. So that's the most fun part of the festival. Yes, we're going to be at the park all day, but before we get to the park, there's going to be a chariot pulling ceremony, right? We're going to be pulling Lord Jagannath, the Lord of the Universe, on the cart. The cart is coming from Montreal. It's a full-size cart. Well, Prabhupada will be on it as well, a founder Acharya. And we're going to be pulling it up the hill. This is kind of unique, because normally, you know, the Ratha Yashra route is a flat. You know, it's just you're going down the center, right of town or whatever. But here, we're in Sandy Hill. <laughs> so there are lots of hills here. So the big challenge, we need you to come at 11 o'clock, right? Because we may not be able to pull that chariot up the hill. Right? And that will be a big problem because we can't begin with the festival until the chariot gets there. So at 11 o'clock, we're going to start down on Templeton Street and Range Road. And it's going to go up the hill, down Laurier Street, then we're going to turn on King Edward, and then we're going to go down Somerset. Right here, we're going to stop and have a massive kirtan in front of the temple, and then we're going to go down to the park. So that's going to be also happening. I also wanted to make another announcement, and it's with regards to, you know, there's so many of you wonderful persons coming, devotees coming to visit and come to the temple. Wouldn't it be nice to have a bigger temple? Like a bigger space? Yeah. So we're actually working, we have a redevelopment plan, we have a draft that's going to be coming out and we'll be making a presentation about it on Sunday, at the Sunday program. But next week at Rathiatra we'll have a booth set up and we're planning on having a four-story building with a temple twice twice the length going this, this space over here. So we need your support because it's going to cost something to be able to do. But since I see there's so many of you, I don't think it's going to be a problem. So we are, we'll be also collecting donations. That'll be happening at the park next week. You can also give a donation today if you like, whenever. You can support either the Ratha Yatra or uh, you know to give to Lord Jagannath or for the Temple Redevelopment Fund. So this would be very exciting. I think it would be a wonderful tribute right, to our Didi's Gauri Thai. We've been here for decades, decades. So. Uh, Let's, let's, let's try to make it happen. Okay. So Dina Gauranga Prabhu is mentioning, if, uh, if anybody would like to volunteer also for Ratha Yatra, you can come earlier, right, to come, you know, either 8 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and there will be things that will, will, will need help. With, uh, either preparation of, of prasadam to be able to serve out, because we're going to be distributing prasadam, and we're expecting at least, you know, we're talking about 1,500 to maybe 2,000 persons attending. So it's a big undertaking, but it's wonderful. We'll have some members of parliament that are going to be there as well. We'll have Bhakti Mark Swami who's coming from Toronto. We'll have some Bharat Natyam dance as well, uh, some more kirtan. And so uh, we really look forward to, to celebrating once again with you. It's another wonderful opportunity. Wash your hands. I'm going to just. Yeah, we'll leave it for us. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. 
Krishna Janmashtami Ki. Okay, I think we're warmed up now. Is everybody ready for charades? Yeah, let's do it. Let's just do it. Okay. Okay. So here are the rules. Charades. You want to play charades? Charades means no talking. <laughs> just acting. So we have some teams. They're going to perform Krishna Leela for you, but no talking. And you have to figure out what the Leela is. Okay? So they'll do, finish, and then you, and then as soon as we hear the right one, then the next person, we have three teams, they'll go. Okay? I got it. All right. I have no. a question. Huh? Can we give this one? Of where we no. <laughs> I'll tell you a hint. It's all about Krishna. <laughs> Since he's unlimited, that gives us a lot of scope. <laughs> okay, who's going to go? Are you ready? Let's see. see, where is Mandala Ram? Mandala Ram for who? I'm waiting for my crew. Okay, but sit down because she's going to go first and then you have to go one, two, three. <laughs> Okay, don't spend time on costuming them. Okay. Um, I just really want to make sure you know who it is. <laughs> well, he can hold a, 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 a long seat, you know, then we'll know immediately. Okay. <laughs> okay, use another. Uh, take it off. So take it off. <laughs> so for this one, my new and happy, you're going to sit up here, okay? For this one, you're going to sit up here. Okay, I'm going to show here. Show Krishna. He was running away from the battle, chasing after Kalyavana. Kalyavana went into the cave, 
Ruth Chikunda was sleeping. He had a benediction that when he woke up, anyone he looked at would get burned to ashes. Fire coming out of her mouth. Okay, next scene. Krishna went to the Asaba of the Kauravas, Dhritarashtra's place, palace, in order to uh, ask if they would just give five villages to the Pandavas, and then there would be no Kurukshetra war. But Duryodhana said, I will give them as much land as you can fit on the head of a pin. And then, they didn't do the last part, that they would try to arrest Krishna. Duryodhana tried to have him arrested, and he showed his universal form and put on a glow that everybody became blinded in the, in the assembly. That was the, they didn't do the work. Thank <laughs> you. 
he stole all the cows and cowherd boys because he couldn't believe that this little blue boy who was eating with his left hand yogurt and rice was God. It's not possible. So I'll steal all the cows and calves and I'll put them in the in the cave and we'll see what happens. And then for one year, Krishna took the form of all the cowherd boys and all the calves. And no one could tell why the mothers were loving their cows more and their boys more than before. And the cows are running down the hill after their calves. Like the coward boys couldn't, coward men couldn't stop them because they were all so in love with Krishna. And then Lord Brahma realized that he made a mistake. For him it was only a little bit of time, but on our planet it was one year. Yes. Okay, who's next? Washington said, these are Kansas clothes. You can't take Kansas clothes. Who do you think you are, you little sleep? <laughs> you can't take Kansas clothes. These are the king's clothes. And he let Krishna just... And he was finished. And the boys took all the clothes, and they got all dressed up. And then they met Sudama, the garland maker. And they, uh, Sudama was very reverential. And they washed his feet, and they made him offered him beautiful garlands, and then they got blessings. 
the gargoyles in it. Yamasaura, he took the form of a coward boy and played with the coward boys and then started stealing them one by one and putting them in a cave. And each one he would cover the cave with a, with a rock. And then Krishna realized that the boys were disappearing. <laughs> so then Yamasaura disappeared. <laughs> He was in, he tried to kidnap Draupadi and he got caught. And so they embarrassed him by cutting his hair funny. And so he went and did austerities and what she, he asked Lord Shiva for a benediction that he could kill the Pandavas. But Lord Shiva said, that's not possible. Krishna's on their side. He said, I'll give you the benediction that you can hold the Pandavas off in battle for one, one battle as long as Arjuna is not there. So um, when Abhimanyu was being killed, Arjuna's son, you all know that story, I'm sure. And, and so Jayadrath was able to keep the, the Pandavas out. And so Arjuna took a vow to kill um, to kill Jayadrath by the time the sun set, the sun set at night. And so Duryodhana arranged everything so that Arjuna would be away and that, that um, he would be sidetracked and uh, <laughs> Jayadrath would get ahead and he wouldn't get cat. And so finally, the day was coming to the end and all of a sudden, the, the, Arjuna had taken a vow that he would kill himself if he didn't kill Jayadrath by the time the sun set. So Krishna covered the sun, and then all of Kauravas thought, wow, that's great, now he, he has to, Arjuna's going to kill himself and the battle will be over. And then they started celebrating and then Krishna uncovered the sun. And then they realized that, that the day wasn't over, the fight wasn't over, and then Arjuna killed Jayadrath. But he did something else because he had a benediction, Jayadrath had a benediction that whoever caused his head to hit the ground, their head would smash into a thousand pieces. So Arjuna took the arrow, shot his head onto his father's lap, who was meditating on far away, and when the head landed in his father's lap, the father stood up and caused the head to fall. So he killed both Jayadrath and his father. And you know all the stories, but you don't remember the name. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right. So, big hour is approaching. Actually, almost an hour. Uh, so, before we continue, with, you know, we're going to have RP at some point. We'll have some more cure time. We have a special surprise for you. One of our congregational members is going to do a katak dance. That's ready? So we're going to do that. Mother Sheila, are you here somewhere? Do you have a TV sound other than your phone? Do you just have it on your phone? Okay, so let's see if we can help you out with that. Okay, so we're going to do an aerobics exercise. Think we can do it? No, we can do it. Well, that's going to be tricky because that's going to be tricky. Unless you can do it in the corner. Okay. Okay. Mother Sheila, is it okay that you do the dance more in the corner? Like on the corner and we'll make some space so that... Somehow it's hard to have the back towards the DVs, but then you go on the other side to have that back towards the DVs, so maybe on the, on the other side, yeah? Let's make some space. Yeah, we're going on that side. Okay, so we're going to do the device where against that side of the wall. You can come this side just for a second. You can have your wall space back after, I promise. Okay, that's a good spot. But if you could just move over on this side, and Mother Sheila is going to go against the window over there. Mother Sheila, you can make your way over there. Just, just come come on this side. Yeah, so we need a good four feet there. Five feet, six feet on the other side. Just a little bit moving this way. Maybe we just, yeah, just shuffle over this way. Come over this side. Come just move this way to the side. Namaha. 
with the intention and the consciousness to approach a guru, a bona fide spiritual master, to attain Krishna Prema, the purpose of human being. Please forgive me if I make any offenses. Um, I'm learning Kata from very few months. I just finished the choreography yesterday, so it's very deep low expectation.